our next competitor analysis here will be amplitude versus segment. Um, just like a, just like before, uh, perhaps if you, if you watch the uh, the one versus Google Analytics, they're actually not really competitors. So they come up quite a bit, and there might be some confusion as to how they work with each other. Now we know how you know, we know how amplitude works, right? We we collect events, uh, we collect user properties, and then we're able to run all kinds of reports like funnel reports, retention reports, and a lot more advanced reports than amplitude offers. So this is a great tool for analyzing product behavior, user behavior. Um, they have a lot of software customers, so of course you can tweak it to do a lot of different things. On the other hand, segment is really more of a data pipeline, data collection uh, option, maybe a customer data platform might, might be a name for it. And effectively, uh, segment is all up, it's all about helping you simplify how you collect your data from whatever sources you have, right? So you may, you may be collecting data from a web, uh, from, a, from a website or a web app or a mobile apps like iOS and Android, maybe a server, doesn't matter. So all this data is coming in. So those are sources in the segment world. And then you want to send the data somewhere, uh, which you call destinations. So Amplitude is really a destination in the segment world, just like Mixpanel or Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel or anything like that. Um, so companies will, will use segment to, to simplify their implementation efforts, right? Instead of, let's say you have uh, multiple tools. Let's say you have Amplitude, you have Intercom, you have Google Analytics, and you have Facebook, uh, the Facebook Pixel. Now, instead of doing the implementation multiple times for each different tool, you can do it once and then send the data to all four tools at the same time. So it, it, it saves a little bit of development costs and be able to manage uh, all this data implementation efforts. If you look at segment, right, we'll see that segment actually has no visual, visualization options, right? It is just a data collection and a data output somewhere, right? So here we have a source, right? We have a JavaScript source. So this is a website of some kind. And we have, uh, what's it called? Five destinations, six destinations. So we're, we're collecting this data from the JavaScript and we send it to six different destinations. And we'll send the data to segment in a, in a format they expect. So that is we're using their SDKs, their JavaScript libraries, their names, all that stuff. And then segment will convert it, right? So they'll convert it to whatever Klaviyo is expecting or whatever Hotjar needs, or whatever Google Analytics needs. Uh, and that's really where the magic is. This conversion can be quite annoying to do if you have to do it yourself because you effectively have to write Klaviyo code and Hotjar code and Google Analytics code and Facebook pixel code. Instead, you can write segment code and it'll convert it for you, right? But if we look at the source, right, there's no charts. There's no way to really look at the data here. And in fact, the only thing we, we have here is where we can see the data flow through for debugging purposes, right? We can see events. Uh, identify calls, all the things you might be expecting from a technical perspective, right? We can see the schema come through, right? Um, but we're not we're not visualizing data here, right? Where all the things that Amazon could do, uh, this is not what Segment does, right? So they are they are uh, complementary to each other, right? And uh, you can think of, you can think of how you want to manage them like that. Typically, when we think about uh, a recommendation like segment.com, and there's a few other players in the space as well, like mparticle and so on, so they're not the only one. We we typically recommend that nearly almost all in almost every case. The the main issue companies will have a segment is usually pricing. That is, um, if you have just to say these two tools, amplitude and segment, you have to pay two tools, right? You have to pay segment and you have to pay amplitude. So typically from a pricing perspective, you're adding very direct costs quite quickly. Uh, but when you compare them to how much development time you might be saving right now and over the long term, it's typically a, a relatively good deal. Um, especially in most companies, you know, development time is very scarce. So it, anything you do to save it, manage it, make it easier, preserve it, uh, it's typically a, a good option. So, so segment.com will, will win in all those cases. In terms of uh, what the implementation will look like, you, if you use segment, you'll you'll be dealing exclusively with them. So you'll be doing all your you, all your implementation with them. So you have to look at all their docs, all their ideas, and things like that. Uh, they have good documentation. Uh, but the same concepts that you might see in Amplitude, you'll see them in Segment, right? So track calls, um, identify calls, group calls for uh, the account IDs and uh, the account lookups in Amplitude. Those will all be there, uh, and you'll really very rarely run into things that are not supported by Segment that, that would be supported if you were to implement directly with a specific tool. Uh, so in most cases, from an implementation perspective or development perspective, it is nearly identical, the work that's needed, except that you're doing less work, right? So the specific work of sending events and sending calls is almost identical if you were to do it with Amplitude or Segment, 
but you save time because you don't have to do it six times. You can only do it once. And that's really the, the main benefit and the main value proposition that segment offers. Uh, they, feel, they have a few other things, of course, uh, protocols and personas and, and a few other things they're building, but that is their, the core product and the, the thing that companies will tend to look at when comparing how to build their stacks uh, and how to organize tools against each other.